All right, guys, James Berger, we're going to see. We're out here at night on the Ohio River. We're going to see about catching some good old blue cats, possibly a flathead, probably be some channels mixed in where we're at right at the moment. Got some good bait. Got some great bait. Just caught some nice big shad, some mediums, but mainly giant ones. We're going to use all different size baits. We're going to suspend some off the side, and I'm going to go ahead and throw a couple off the back with a uh, Santee Cooper rig with the kitty call from Trophy Cat Tackle on it. Everything's got pretty good size hooks. But uh, what I'm fishing here is like a flat. It's it's I guess it's really a big point, and it gradually drops, of course. But there's bait fish up there. I don't want to fish in the bait fish. I'm going to fish on the outside of them, catching the fish that are going in. Um, so I'm looking at the screen. It's 30.8 foot right where I'm sitting. And that's right, it's close to the bottom of it. It's kind of starting to go up. You know what I mean? I've seen, watching a couple fish moving through right now that are up on the ledge, you know what I mean? Going up a little bit, skating by. So let's see if we can get a few of them, break the ice, get some fish in this boat, and then we're probably gonna start drifting after that. All right, guys, so didn't do any good around this flat. I fished three different areas and three different ideas on it. Got a little dink tap here and there, so. Let off that spot lock and started to get on out, uh, further on out into some deeper water. Do some drifting now. Moving along here and got this nasty little crosswind just slamming the side of the boat next thing you know I'm out here in this channel drifting down it before you know it you won't even realize how far out I am there he is. Bam. come There's on man hit. get it got it I missed this got fish it. unfortunately nope. First one. but when I'm drifting I suspend drift so I'm using a 30 and a 40 pound test Andy Monster line with mono on some and then braid on some. Eight ounce sinker, heavy duty eight ounce leader. You can see here I'm just dropping it straight on down. I let it tap bottom, give it a little pull, make sure I'm straight, tap bottom, feel it. Get that rod tip down in the water and lift it straight up, all nice and tight. That way I know from a foot underneath that water surface get it to go all in. the way up to the tip of that rod how it's sitting right there in that holder I know I'm that far from the bottom of the river at least hope you guys enjoy the video see you on the next one don't forget to hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up if you like the video and leave all the comments you want I'll always get back to you Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Coming up, I noticed that the other day too. It must be maybe there's more bait fish, but I I noticed a lot of bait fish in here the other day, going through. Okay, we're plowing up the damn channel now. I'm just running in the channel, guys. For now, for a minute here, just ran into a fish. Get lucky. Lucky first contestant for the night. It's not been uh, the, the skunk buster. <laughs> and a little buster fish. Look how he twisted the line yeah, on that hook. He, that, he went barreling straight on down. He got that thing all wound up around his whisker. That's what he, he did. To, See he that? He's trying to release himself. Yeah, he, he had. He almost released himself. Had that leader wrapped around his whisker and had the hook trying to pop it out. 
Just kind of skated out. That wind put us right in some fish. We ran through a little pot of them. That's a little baby. I can go. He ain't quite camera worthy, but I need one. No mud on them. That one hit a uh, slice of a uh, shad. somewhere I'm trying to go somewhere I'm trying to catch you don't go too far oh, regular fish so quiet when he took it down. He's like, let me get that rod back there. There you go. That's better. It's better. It's better. Time drifter fish right there. He hammered it down, man. Strong one there. Glad to be back out here doing the drifting. It was fun, man. Let him go. See if we can find another one. Sometimes I just don't know when to stop. The night before, there were a few fish that just did not make the camera not quite work. I guess you could say, but I'm still hunting.
fucking little thing. He just power tried that thing down for me. Good morning, fish. Sometimes you just got to keep on going. Time's about up, but I love some drifting. It's addicting. I'm just kind of searching for that big guy, but it's looking a little slim on that. All right, guys, we're going to end the day here. Been a long day, long night all the above hope you guys enjoyed the video please like subscribe comment all you want always get back to you thanks again